Hi, Cancer. Thank you for being here with me today, you guys. Um, let's look at your tarot cards and see what messages come out for you. I'm going to look at these cards first. The Dark Confessions of the Soul. I'm going to grab one of these for you. Spirits, what does Cancer need to know? Who is trying to speak to Cancer? There's someone that's trying to get a message to you guys. I feel cold and detached from this connection. I can't feel emotions right now. So there may be someone here that you feel like um, is being cold or detached. On the bottom of the deck, we have, I have things going on in my life that require my full attention. All right, on the bottom of the deck. So let's see what this is about. Spirits, what does Cancer need to know right now? At the time they're viewing this reading, what does Cancer need to know? Are you feeling someone's cold and detached from you right now, Cancer? Someone's just not showing up as they should? You could be wondering what's going on with this person. The first card you have is Patience. I feel like you know something's up with this person. So you're showing me this card of patience. And then you have the Ten of Water. There's someone here that shows up as a family member or a marriage. Um, I'm seeing you having patience with this person. see like a belly here I don't know that means something to someone someone has a, a pot belly the next card you have showing up is the queen of water and then you have the nine of earth Keep going here. I'm seeing you standing back, giving space to someone here in your life, Cancer. And then you have the Seven of Water in the center of your reading. I feel like you need your space too. And then you have the Five of Water. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Fire. So there's a lot going on here with the Ten of Fire. There's a lot of things that need to be done. I feel like someone may have bit off more than they can chew. And you're trying to be patient with this person. Why is patience here? Why are you, who is this? Why are you being patient with this person? Okay, so the first card you have is the Two of Masks. See, there's someone that you're connecting with here. But this person seems cold and detached. And for some reason, I'm seeing you. It's like this person, they feel distant, but I see you having patience with whoever this is. It's like you're giving them space. Yeah, whoever this is, they they could come across as feeling very defensive when you talk to them. Um, and then you have the tower. So I feel like there's been some type of an argument with this person in the past because they are being distant 
and it causes whoever this person is it causes them a tower moment if they and you could be wondering why are they doing this because it's almost like this person is hurting themselves all right because you know this person wants you in their life but they're like pushing you away why is the ten of water here You have the King of Masks. And you have the Queen of Discs. See, you're kind of getting disgusted with this person, Cancer. With the Queen of Discs showing up next to this King of Wands energy. So the Queen of Pentacles next to the King of Wands. This person trying to connect with them it's like they're thinking of like this fiery in the moment type of thing where you're wanting to you know think ahead in the future make plans with them and they're just thinking in the moment and it's like you male or female do not pay attention to the gender but it's like you're putting your hand on your head like why can't we just be happy why can't we just come together why are you not thinking about how things are going to turn out in the future? Let me look at them because this King of Wands energy, this is their energy showing up here, Cancer. Tell me why the King of Wands is here. It's like you're neither one of you are on the same page. You have the Sun, Leo energy. Yeah, they just... It's like, like I just said, they just want to be happy in the moment. They're not thinking about the self-destructive energy that they have by shutting you out. I feel like the things that are keeping them busy, it feels like petty things. And you would like to just have a conversation with this person. With the Queen of Pentacles showing up. This is like, um, you know, making plans for the future, finances, things in the material world, things that make sense. And um, I'm kind of picking up a bit of a player type energy from this person, but you do love them. You're showing up here as the queen of water. And you're trying to be patient with whoever this person is. Even though it looks like something happened here in the past. Where them pushing you away or being distant. It caused a tower moment. Where everything seems like, okay, this is over. I'm done. You keep pushing me out. Tell me why the Queen of Water is here. Okay, so you have the Page of Masks. You're going to come up with some type of plan here, Cancer, um, that works for everyone. I, this plan, it hasn't taken action yet, but it will. But I'm seeing out of this energy of here of you saying okay i you know i'm just going to do me here with the nine of earth it's like something here it's like this all of this is happening for a reason and it's because you're going to come up with some type of really really awesome idea that makes everyone happy here tell me why the queen of pentacles is here You have the two of pentacles. So you're trying, there's like energies over here. And sorry, I don't know if you can see my hands. There's an energy over here and an energy over here. It feels separated to me. Like somebody's here and somebody's there. And so there's this need to pull this energy together. 
And that's the idea, the plan that I see you come up with. <coughs> Tell me why the Two of Pentacles is here. What is causing this separation? Okay, so you have temperance, Sagittarius energy. This is the two of you coming together um, like so, like a reconciliation taking place. Um, these two cups being poured together, but it's requiring patience. The separation. This angel is pouring the two masks together or the two cups together to create some type of balance and peace. And this is requiring temperance. It's like there's something about... Um, a separation here but I see a reconciliation coming in all right I see something working out fine and it's like some type of an idea that you have that that you're going to come up with it's just going to hit you at the moment like this is what I should have been doing all along all along where there's been confusion and where you could have felt like giving up like this is just not going to work the next card you have is the Nine of Pentacles. So there's an energy here with the Nine of Pentacles where you are... Um, this is you individually. It's like you're doing something here to change yourself or the way that you were operating and doing things because with this person, it's like they're thinking one way, you're thinking another way, and this is you backing up and putting all of your focus into yourself. And this is also a, a card of material gain. Yeah, see? There's something here that's been delayed. You have Taurus energy here with the Hierophant, and if you guys noticed it, it came out in reverse. So there's a higher level of commitment. There's something higher. Your spirit is ascending. Your mind is ascending. And the Ace of Masks is here. So you, it's like you have some type of a gift or something that you do that um, you're, you're raising the vibration of it. You're making it bigger. And the energy here is showing that this will work for you. You may even be doing something online with the Seven of Cups. But there's like this static electricity here with the Seven of Cups of something being formed or coming together for you in the future. And this energy, it doesn't have nothing to do with this, this person. I'm seeing here that right now it requires patience to... Um, to have some type of balance with whoever that is but i see a reconciliation happening here in the future and then you have the hanged man this is pisces energy why is the seven of cups here and then you have the eight of discs And the five of staffs. So the five of wands. You're going to be getting busy very soon, Cancer. You have the knight of blades at the bottom of the deck. You have a job to do. And this job, whatever it is, you don't have time in your life right now to deal with this other energy with whoever this person is in your life. And... It's a good thing. It's almost like it's happening spiritually for you. Even though it's causing you confusion there. Um, it's like it's happening for you. Because you are being called to ascend to a higher level of commitment here. You're being called by the divine. Your angels, your guides. You're picking up messages. Intuitive messages. Because the petty games here that have been going on you don't have time for it right now you need to focus on your work with the eight of discs there's something here that you do 
that in the in the long run with the hanged man here is going to pay off for you there I'm seeing like an online energy here for some of you guys because with the five of wands it's like there could be um like um competition all right it doesn't have to be online but there's something here that you do for work where it feels competitive tell me why the five of water is here Okay, so you have the world, the ten of swords, and the six of discs. Yeah, see the moon is there. That's your energy cancer at the bottom of the deck. This this is a path that you don't see that's going to happen, okay? There's a path of walking in the darkness, walking in the shadow right now um that is leading you to the wheel of fortune which is going to change your life so when you look back in time at this moment your future self it's like when you look back you're going to understand why all of this energy is backing up backing away from you it's because you need this space coming into the future see we're back at the nine of discs again so the nine of pentacles it's like this is a self-made person i see you being a self-made person and a lot of financial gain coming into your life here in the future and whatever this financial gain is it's like um you're getting up from the ground here emotionally with the ten of swords and you're running towards something and as you're running towards something do not be afraid to give what needs to be given all right do not be afraid of um worry about who's taking from you what you're giving because this is like pennies like let it go let it go um you're in this energy here of manifestation so you're not thinking in an energy here of lack like i don't have enough you're in an energy here of manifestation and this energy here in the near future it's it's like replacing itself as much as you give out you're getting more back in return yeah this is success you have the world here something here is going to be very successful You just don't see it yet, all right? Because you have the five of water here, so it's almost like uh, there's, there's a bridge like off in the distance that you need to cross over and it's like your mind is telling you and showing you this bridge to cross over from the other side of your emotions this energy cancer it's showing me that you are um needing right now space in your own life and um so let me try to put this into the right words so emotionally like your emotional life and love and all of these things and feeling sadness there it's not what's going to lead you to that bridge in the distance that i see you looking at there's a bridge over at the distance where you're going to cross over this bridge go to the other side there's like a castle on the other side it's like i i wish i could like paint you a picture of what is on the other side of this bridge so this energy i see it changing of dwelling on what has been lost emotionally it's 
is over. The ten, the ten of swords is here. It's over because you have bigger and better things to do here. And like I said, whatever you throw out along the way, it's like it's like pennies. It's not. You have something bigger here where these pebbles or whatever you're throwing they're not going to mean anything you have something bigger that you need to deal with a bigger energy and so what you need to deal with it's like these other people can deal with you just need to give them what they need to be able to do what needs to be done so do not concentrate on the other people in your life that are like asking you for little things here and there just let it go and just keep your eye on your goal here <coughs> all right cancer so these are the messages that i have for you today um i hope you guys can see the cute little babies they're very sleepy but there's a baby face if you can see it but i love you guys and i'll see you later namaste